Uh, all right, so I'll ask you everything I've been asking all the other PFL fighters. Is the plan to uh, get in that tournament, the the regular season with the playoffs for the one million dollar payday next year? Yeah, I think so. I gotta, you know, where I get to this fight first, and it sounds like the plan. I gotta, uh, I gotta look and see exactly how I think everything's structured. But that's probably the plan: going there and win the tournament. There you go. And I, I gotta, I gotta win that million dollars to keep paying that that rent. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, another thing I wanted to ask you was when you were at when you now that you're at Henzo's I should say have you had a ton, a lot of opportunity with uh, John Danaher who is obviously a a Brazilian tactician like you are Yeah I train with John uh, pretty much every day he's a phenomenal coach the guys you know he's a genius of jiu-jitsu he breaks he sees things and breaks it down from a different perspective and uh his style is all about submission submission you know I've always been a Okay, submission guy, but really good, uh, you know, control with the jiu-jitsu. So I've really taken, you know, I'm really working on taking my game to a different level and getting the finishes. How did Gil take you moving? Was that like, that was your, that's your brother from another mother. Was was that a tough one? Because if I'm not mistaken, I think you were teaching yeah. at his gym as well, right? Yeah, Gil, Gil definitely didn't want me to leave, but, you know, it's one of the things he understood. And, and I, I, I plan on going back to San Francisco at some point. This isn't like a permanent move. I just wanted to come out here for a little bit, you know, see some new things. Not sure exactly how long I'll be here. But, yeah, Gil was, uh, Gil was definitely bummed and tried talking me out of it. But uh, I still go back there every couple months and go train with him. Did this have – wait, now that I'm putting the, putting the pieces – oh, no, I guess I, I got this all wrong. I was going to say, did you have anything to do with uh, Dylan Dennis? But he's part of another gym. He's part of Marcelo Garcia's gym. So um, Yeah, no, he's, he's, part, he's part of Marcelo. Yeah, that's – he's uh, – yeah, I, I competed against him that long ago. Yeah, we, yeah, we don't care for Dylan too much. <laughs> he don't get along with any of the guys over at Henzo's. And and have you seen him at all? I know I know New York City is a big city, but the BJJ community is a little tight. No, I haven't. I haven't bumped into him. I saw him on TV at the Connor press conference. He had some nice uh, orange hair and looking looking really douchey. <laughs> Did you see uh, Floyd's one of Floyd's bodyguards kind of checked him, man? He bounced them back pretty far. Um, when they did that from the Voltron yeah, unfortunately, deal. I, miss, I, I miss that point. I would have liked to see him beat those guys up. but <laughs> Jake, in looking up and yeah. down your record, I was amazed, man. Like, You've pretty much seen every style of fighter, every type of challenge in every type of setting you could possibly have in mixed martial arts. How do you not become complacent with your game? Like, Is, is every fight that you take, is it the same – fun that you have trying to solve that puzzle isn't it difficult to try to not become complacent yeah you know i've fought in so many tough guys it is you can get a little bit complacent and that's something i've worked at. and that's part of the reason why i made the move you know like i said i have a, i mean i love my team i've got the best team ever but i just felt like i needed some new see some new things in training and some, and some different styles something to freshen it up for me again and training with john has really uh opened my eyes up in the submission game and uh and you know, also great wrestling and boxing trainers out here so I think it's good. And then, you know, fighting someone like Danny Davis is tough because he's a guy I don't really know anything about. You know, going in there, I'm sure I'm being the big favorite. So it makes it a little tough, you know, when, you, when I've fought in, I think I've fought in like four, I think, I think five UFC, I think beaten five UFC champs, I think, or UFC or Pride champs. So when you have a record like that, you fight some guy you've, you've never really heard of, it makes it, uh, makes it a little tough to get psyched up for. You know, when, but when my I... mindset is to take everyone just serious because you don't want to go out there and lose to the guy you're supposed to beat. 